Now, scientists have confirmed dozens of new spider species have been uncovered during a stock take of flora and fauna on Queensland's Kalula coast. The 37 new creepy crawlies were discovered living in the national park surrounding Rainbow Beach. Robert White is a research scientist and spider expert and he joins us now from Brisbane. Robert White, welcome. So you're a spider enthusiast. You must have been in seventh heaven on this weekend when you found all these new species. What was it like? Oh, I was gobsmacked. I didn't realise there were so many new species in that little area. And John Sinclair, who organised it, it's right, it's really ecologically diverse. It's uh, absolutely teeming with life and teeming with new species. Yeah, so have you got a favourite? Well, I really like the very, very tiny one uh, that I got called Beelzebub. And, uh, is, that, that, is that a black one? We've got to shut up now of a black one that looks pretty devilish. Oh, and the, there's, a yeah, yeah. there's a green one up now as well. Oh, the green one is amazing. I think that's the first ever photograph in the world of that particular uh, species. It's known that one's uh, a Citrata species. The Beelzebub is also another one which is the first uh, uh, successful photo of an Australian species. Also got the, the green one, I got the male of that which is still undescribed. So I'll be able to describe that one uh, now, that I've, now that it's been discovered. But uh, yeah. it's the photos of getting these amazing photos of these tiny little creatures. It's uh, like a treasure hunt uh, that pays you off again and again. And so why do you think this particular area seems so rich in spiders? Well, it was confusing to me. Initially, I thought because of the, the fairly poor soils, uh, leached uh, sandy soils, I thought that there wouldn't be that diversity. But it seems like when life is hard, everything has a go at trying to adapt to uh, to fit into a niche there and uh, nothing becomes like an overall uh, winner and so you get lots of diversity, you get lots of plant diversity and with that comes with uh, the insects and of course uh, insects are prey for spiders so spiders are a great uh, indicator of diversity and abundance. And so this is an area north, north of Noosa, just explain, explain it for us and, and how far an area did you search through to find these 37 spiders? Okay, so we had three sites that the spiders uh, team went out on, uh, including some really gifted young citizen scientists, naturalists who have brilliant eyesight, <laughs> better than us, <laughs> and uh, really good fingers, and, and they would tube up these tiny little things. So uh, I was very glad of, of them being able to see things normally invisible to the naked eye. It's biogeographically pretty much the same area as Fraser Island. Uh, and I think what uh, John Sinclair is trying to do is actually include it in that World Heritage Area. Right. It's got amazing estuaries, bird life, uh, phenomenal uh, dunes and surf. It's a great place, you know, great holiday location. OK, uh, Rob, well, thanks so much for talking to us this morning and good luck with your continuing enthusiasm for the arachnids. Thank you very much. <laughs>